This is episode 2 of our second trip to Ensenada and more in 2024. Right now we're getting off the navigator of the seas and boarding a ferry since they don't have a dock that's big enough to accommodate the actual cruise ship. <laughs> Now, Catalina Island is located in Southern California and is actually a part of Los Angeles County. A fun fact is, this island is actually owned by the descendants of William Wrigley Jr. Yes, the very same one who built an empire on chewing gum. We start the day going on a submarine tour where we board this yellow submarine. There's a lot of space! Yeah. Look at that guys, looking at you pops. I like you and I want you. How it works is we're taken around hot spots where all kinds of marine life congregate and we're given the opportunity to launch torpedo pellets to attract the fish to the windows. <laughs> so to get the most bang from your buck, you're going to need to time your torpedo pellet shots right when there are plenty of fishes nearby. I think we were very fortunate on this submarine trip because it seems like wildlife is just around every inch of this part of the ocean when we went. There's a female right there. Oh, look at you. There's another female right there. My gosh, this is the closest I've ever been to a sea bass that's not caught in a hook. Wow. Man, they're so healthy. This is so many fish. Look at how many fish are. What? Oh my gosh, there's so many fish, I can't even see anything! <laughs> oh my god! There's so many! Jeez! Look at this thing, it's absolutely stuck in fish! Oh my gosh! It's time! It was a bright and sunny day, so we're given the opportunity to go topside on the way back to the dock. I love the fresh breezy air and it's certainly a different feeling riding on top of a submarine. If you're prone to seasickness, this might hurt a little bit. In the distance, we can see the navigator of the seas just waiting for us. The docking process. We start to disembark the submarine and continue with the rest of our day walking around Avalon. The idyllic island of Catalina. Several restaurants and shops selling all manner of trinkets line the streets faced against the beautiful sandy coasts. Best cinnamon roll ever. Best cinnamon roll ever? I'll be the judge of that. Cinnamon roll, you have to get it. Yeah. Side trip with some cinnamon right here. Or some cinnamon roll. Let's not forget that all of this is situated in front of a magnificent tapestry of landscape and sounds, with the ocean crashing softly against the shore and the near translucent waters it comes from. We're in luck because that view just so happens to be the backdrop of this restaurant called Blue Water Grill. Sipping a tasty cold one inside a seafood-centric restaurant complete with a nautical theme to boot makes this place easy to recommend. Here we are at the casino theater. Not really a casino. It's just got the structure of a casino. Literally a casino, a circular structure. The casino theater that we're in was completed in 1929 and was originally built as a multi-purpose venue. Before you know it, our day is over and our shuttles come to pick us up to bring us back to the navigator of the seas. As if to say goodbye for the last time, the sun begins to set on our way back ending our one day trip to Catalina Island.
And that concludes this episode of our cruise to Ensenada and more the second time around. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Right there, with the red hat.